Hi, Jake. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining me today. Um, before we get started, if you just want to give a quick introduction of yourself. I know I always get your title wrong, so... No, it's okay. I get my title wrong sometimes. <laughs> no. um, so I, I work in business operations and strategy at AltCare. Um, so basically what that means is I work with the different leaders in our company to help them achieve goals, um, which has been fun. So um, that's what I do um, nine to five. Um, outside of that, born and raised in Canton um, and am the uh, chair of our leadership committee. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm excited to talk today. Great, thanks. I know um, leadership is a passion of yours and just professional development in general. And um, I think one of the reasons that we wanted to talk today is in our conversations, everything seems to be at a standstill right now, or the perception is, is that things are at a standstill. What do you think is the importance of um, not feeling stuck? Or how are you, you know, getting out of that mindset of feeling stuck? Right. Um, I don't think I'm alone in the fact that professional development is important to me, at least personally. So I think a lot of that was already being done before COVID-19 hit. So I was already pursuing things like that. And I think everyone has their own thing that they're doing, whether it's podcasts or they read or they're in a um, kind of a networking group. Um, so those things really haven't slowed down, which has been good. So while some of the other things in life have slowed down a bit, um, my professional development has still kind of been able to take its normal course. And I think that would be the one message that I send to people is just because we're dealing with all of this, this is actually an even better time now because some of the distractions that we had that were taking us away, yeah. um, there. Yeah, it's almost like we're forced to take a look inward yeah. and to see, okay, what are my strengths that I'm bringing to the table right now and where are opportunities to develop? Right. Um, what are some of your suggestions for avenues to take, you know, during this time or different resources available? Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of resources out there, um, but our reliance on technology, I think, is at an all-time high, right? So <laughs> any of the, the things... weekly screen usage is like... <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. So, um, you know, relying on that rather than actually having to go to places, I think, is important. So... Mm -hmm. um, whether you e-read or you have books at home, those that's something that I'm big in. Um, if you're not keen on that, something like an Audible or with the Stark County Library, um, I don't know if you've heard of Libby, um, the app that you can have where you actually have access to all of their, their catalog. Um, so that's a great thing to kind of continue that professional development. Um, podcasts are a big one for me. Um, and then even though we're kind of all in our own worlds a little bit and quarantined, um, I would still make time for the people that impact you professionally the most. So if it is a, a networking event, still reach out to those people, mm -hmm. you know, have a weekly call with them or shoot them a text um, just to see what they may have. Cause you never know that I think this is making everybody reflect a little bit more. It's a great opportunity to still connect with people just cause we're apart. Doesn't mean we still can't be connected. Yeah, that's a good point. I actually, that point in and of itself has been echoed across a lot of these um, chats that I'm having is that some people are more connected now than ever because they've been forced to sort of um, step out of their comfort zone and yeah. you know, connect. Um, we actually had with Y Stark our first e meetup last night, and that went it went great. And we had a few different small groups. Um, just through Zoom that we connected with. And I know we're planning on doing that again in April and then a couple um, game nights just to do something a little bit different. But that's nice. a really good point with staying connected with the people that you typically um, network with or that you can. Um, what does, okay, so some people are confused about what professional development is. What right. does that mean to you? Um, is it just upscaling for your job or... So that's a loaded question. Yeah. Um, I think so professional development. I think it just intimidates people. They're like, yeah, I, I, when I think of professional development, the word that comes to my mind is health, right? So um, it's not just job health um, because I think, especially for our generation, Kelly, work and life are so intertwined now that it's, it's kind of hard to separate them. So it's not just about, is my job going okay? It's like, 
is my job going okay, but am I also pursuing a passion? Am I also learning? Am I also connected to people? Those are just some things that I think people look for. So to me personally, it's, um, am I doing fulfilling work that's in alignment with my values? And is it challenging me to get better every day? So if that's happening normally, I'm still doing things that are going to challenge me on a daily basis. I'm connecting with people that inspire me to pursue that vision. Um, and I'm getting involved. I'm getting outside my comfort zone. So it just all kind of shapes who I am as an individual, not just as a professional. So I don't know if that answers your question. Oh, absolutely. Well enough, I, mean, or, okay. I, I think it leads me to say, um, especially as young professionals, that that term professional development now encompasses that personal development, professional development. And I think even internally within YSTAR, when we were creating this um, leadership committee, didn't we yeah. start with the professional development committee? And then we were like, oh, yeah. it's just a little bit more than that. A little bit different. It's yeah, it's a little bit different. Because that's yeah. sort of taking ownership of your kind of um, well-rounded development, I guess. A, a lot of YPs are either in some sort of middle management leadership position, mm -hmm. um, or you know, maybe they're lucky enough to be in a higher level leadership position. But for a lot of them too, I think it's about leading themselves, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. developing the habits and the things that are gonna help them feel like they're moving forward on a day-to-day -day basis. Yep, laying that foundation. Absolutely. And I don't think it's too late to start or too early to start. So whether you Never. fall on that Never. 21, yeah to 25 year old spectrum or that 35 to 40, you know, whatever side of that YP range right. you're in. It's fun. We, we've, you know, since forming this committee, we've talked to even graduating seniors in college to people that are in their first five years of business and then yeah. are their job and then pass that too. Oh yeah. To people that are employing, you know, right. Up to hundreds right. of other people. Um, okay. Awesome. Before we uh, end this call, just for fun, if you could spend one day of your quarantine with anybody in the world, um, other than family, I'll give you that okay. out so that you don't okay. have to choose, you know, your wife or your daughter, <laughs> but um, who would it be? Oh man. Do they have to be a real person? I'm going to say no, because that sounds interesting. What your answer yeah. might be. <laughs> when, I say, when I say that, I'm thinking of like a TV character or something like that. Oh, so yeah, I think it could be a TV in, in like quarantine, you got to have someone who's going to, keep you you laughing like keep the spirits up right but yeah. it's also going to be able to engage in like some serious conversation like adult yeah. conversation oh man um oh i thought you had somebody in mind which no, is no i don't <laughs> but i'm just trying to i'm working through this yeah so um one of my favorite shows was the office so i'm gonna go with a character from there and i'm trying to sort through who uh, a Michael Scott may be a little bit too much, a little too much for the quarantine if we're staying there. So I'll go with uh, probably like a Jim. Um, he's a cool guy, could hang out, something like that. I love it. I love that background. Um, probably, probably a Jim Halpert, right? Um, so because you're not going to get bored. You can have some fun, joke around. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that, that would probably be my number one draft pick if we were doing a quarantine draft. Yeah. Okay, so that was a great answer. I really thought you were going to go with Brene Brown after your reaction when we were talking. I love about Brene Brown. <laughs> I love Brene Brown. Um, big fan. Um, and obviously, we've talked about using that in some of our development and yep. things like that. But big yep. fan. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Your insight and um, viewpoint on the importance of professional development is so important. I think you just really bring it down to a level that people can relate to Absolutely. and just be a little bit more motivated and inspired to sort of um, incorporate some of that in their day-to-day. -day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And the, the piece of advice that I would give to people is, like I said, don't use this time when other things are stopping. You don't have to stop pursuing your goals or your vision or anything like that. I think this has forced us all to adapt. Yep. Um, so and that, that in, in of itself yeah. is, you know, development, even just that right. survival mode and figuring out how to adapt. I think we're all going to be able to take this into the future and future right. interviews when, you know, you're asked the question, tell me a time about, you know, a, a, a piece of right. adversity and we're all going to have this time to pull from. We're all going to tell quarantine stories about <laughs> yeah. work-life balance. Yeah. Awesome. yeah.
Well, right. have a great day and thank you so much for sharing today. Yeah, you too, Kelly. All right, Bye. we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm.